I still consider what I do a trade. I'm a tradesman, craftsman, but even a painter is a tradesman and a craftsman. Everybody's different anyways. I think any maker, it deserves its own respect. What makes me different is me, the way I do things. We're in the humble shop in my backyard. A little shop that could. This is where the machinery is kept, this is where it gets dusty, this is where you get really dirty, this is where it gets loud, and this is where the chips fly. The next step is firing up the machine. Let's do it. So I'm Marcel and I use uh, machinery and software to customize products for clients such as signage, uh, furniture, wall art, you name it, uh, it's functional art. Craftsman, you gotta have the know-how and the knowledge and the uh, artist, you gotta have the creativity to uh, apply to the know-how and the, and the knowledge and maybe try different things and I think I'm addicted to trying the different things and that's the artist has kind of taken over the craftsman and I'm constantly learning. Okay. As a kid I drew and then uh, that really took a pause for a long time but um, I worked a full-time job as a machinist programmer and did theater part-time to kind of have that feeling of I'm doing something and then I was just exhausted with life. I didn't have a balance in my life. I was always in the shop, which after, you know, 13 years in the machine shops and machine shops, okay, more than, I'm more than this, right? That's it, I started my own thing. It started off as security boards and small stuff. And then as you start learning more, and my background's metal, but I started applying those techniques to wood and uh, it grew into coffee tables, dining tables, office tables, harvest tables, benches, furniture, 12 foot signs, uh, art. It's kind of jumbling everything that I've learned in the last three years and finally creating a space for myself that I'm proud of. So I have a three axis machine and I get all these X and Y coordinates and then I'll profile the table with the software and then I'll draw arcs and, and, and splines to create that natural flow of those X and Y positions. But it's kind of got to all flow. Here's your points turned into splines and then turned into a river table. I'm using the natural flow of the wood following the grains. Basically did what the wood was telling me to do, right? A lot of X and Y coordinates. And then I save that on a USB stick and I run it on my machine. So it starts here and then you get dirty out there. It's loud. Uh, it's dusty. I got earmuffs on, I got say, eyeglasses on, and I got a mask respirator thing on out there. I got ventilation. I put on my work clothes. I was climbing around. So, so it's work. When I'm machining it flat, it's when the tool starts skimming the surface, you start really seeing the grain pop. And then you're on the journey towards the end result, right? You're seeing it now. And that's what it's all about can't buy this stuff at Ikea. It's just there's no rules anymore. And that's the beautiful thing about this furniture making is it's big and there's no rules to it. It's like art. I've done signs, but this is actually art, right? But it's applying sign technology to art now. It is rewarding. It gives me purpose. I feel like I'm doing something. And the best part is when it's all done. And you can sit there and pick something apart that you've touched every square 
inch of it with your bare hands, but at the end of the day, it's uh, if you put in the quality, the work hours, and you deliver it, and the customer's happy, what more could you ask for? Dealing with wood and what dealing with making stuff for people has brought me more involved in my surroundings, you know, and it's made me involved in community. I can walk downtown for a coffee and I see a lot of my own signage. I see a lot of clients. I talk to a lot of people. I see a lot of beer taps. I see a lot of uh, legacy rings. It's just there, you know, it's been a lot of years and uh, a lot of my stuff's downtown here in Guelph. I think I finally did something for myself with all this stuff here. I think uh, my house and my shop are turning into my favorite things. I'm just a success story within myself. You know, I was unhappy for a long time. And I kind of changed and geared what I was good at into something more enjoyable for, about life. And I'm still figuring it out. I'm extremely happy, extremely happy. Extremely happy. I get I get challenged every day. I get to be creative. Um, I get to meet people. Um, I'm constantly learning. And best part is I'm laughing most of the time along the way. Yes, I'm the happiest I've ever been.